Hi, I'm Marie and I'm a member of the Amdover Baptist Church community. And this week I'm talking about intentions, dire direction and project plans. And specifically how the things that we do day in, day out, week in, week out, impact and determine our destination, which makes total sense, right, doesn't it? And I think um, for all of us, you know, we, we have plans about where we want to be in life and we can uh, formulate them when we're younger or when we're older. And if we end up in the place we want to be in any area of our life, that's fantastic. And if we don't, sometimes there are questions that we need to ask ourselves about that. And I think one of the important things I was reflecting on yesterday is actually, yes, we've got a role to play ourselves, but also other people help us and uh, help us on that journey. You know, we need to link into help, advice, teaching. And I was specifically talking about um, my childhood ambition of being a professional musician. And actually it makes total sense because I might have had an instrument that I could pick up and play. I might have had a talent. And actually what I really needed was somebody to come alongside and teach me and to support me and to guide me. And it's the same with life, isn't it? And I think as a Christian, I believe that that we go to God for that. You know, our challenge is to understand what God plans for us and for our lives. And actually, you know, in the first few books of the uh, Bible, uh, in the New Testament part of the Bible, we read a lot about Jesus's life. And in the book of John, um, we hear about Jesus talking to the people that he was teaching and one of the things he says to them is if they hold to his, te his teaching then they're his disciples because they'll know the truth and the truth will set them free and that's in John chapter 8 verse 31. So there's our answer. We've got to know what Jesus said about how we should live our lives and then we've got to really, really understand that and try and follow it. And I know some of you will be sitting there thinking, oh, I do all of that. It's not that simple. Other things happen. And I, I totally understand that. And that's where I feel it's important that we each tune into the Holy Spirit because um, the Holy Spirit is, is, is another gift to us from God. And I think Jesus described it really well when he was talking to his close circle of friends um, just before his death and he was trying to prepare them for what was going to come next. And he said to them, I'll ask the Father and he will give you an advocate to help you and to be with you forever. Now, if you're a Christian, this will make perfect sense to you. And the challenge for you, like me, will sometimes be how linked in you feel to the Holy Spirit. And I accept that if you're watching this today and you're not a Christian, it's, it's a little bit more complicated because uh, the Holy Spirit isn't something that you can physically see. But I love Jesus' description about the Holy Spirit. And, and I also love that in other translations of the Bible, there are other words uh, to re instead of advocates, which I think um, really help communicate what the Holy Spirit is. Um, one of those is helper and the others are comforter and counsellor. And for me, I love all of those words because I think actually I need help to understand what my purpose is in life. I need help to direct me and guide me so that the things I'm trying to do, I get a sense of they're the things that God wants me to be doing. And I guess uh, for me, it's how do I tune, how do I tune into it? And I think, uh, again, I look to the example of Jesus because he modelled that so well. You know, he, he knew the, he knew scripture. He knew the things that he was meant to do. He prayed, he went away every day and prayed and spent time on his own really talking to God and trying to hear from God and from his father. And a couple of years ago, I did a great 12 day study by Craig Gushell that's exactly on this topic and it was called Daily Power and it's 12 days of fuel for your soul. And the strap line to that says, 
Do you know how we grow? We practice. Most people don't realise it's the things that no one sees that results in the things that everyone wants. And I just love that. And actually, I found it such a valuable study. So I'd really recommend that you check it out for yourself. And a link to it is in the video description below. So please join me tomorrow as I talk a bit more about training and training plans. But to finish, I'd just really love us to pray together. Jesus, I thank you that you're God and that you've sent your Holy Spirit to live with us and to change us from the inside out. Can you show us what it means to live a life that matches with who you are so that we can continue to be transformed into the people you see us to be? Amen. Thanks for joining me today and I really hope you come back and join me tomorrow. Bye for now.